Hi, um, can I please do um, a bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle, please? Actually, can I sub the hash brown for the apple slices? Thank you. Thank you. Hello guys, we are doing a full day of eating today, but we are doing it a little bit differently than your favorite wellness influencers are probably doing it. Today we are eating fast food for 24 hours, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I know what you're thinking, Hannah, aren't you a registered dietitian? Yeah, I am, but I'm not a regular dietitian, I'm a cool dietitian. I'm not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. This means that I don't just eat salads and hard boiled eggs and drink room temperature water. Seriously though, today's video is all about just me reminding you that it's okay to eat fast food. When I say that all foods fit, I actually mean that. Like you really can get a McGriddle for breakfast if you want to. You can get an iced coffee that has regular old syrup in it. Would it feel good for me to eat McDonald's breakfast every single morning? Of course not, but that doesn't mean that I can't enjoy it. So yeah, today we've got McDonald's for breakfast. I got some apple slices that I will be sharing with my pal Finn back there. And then I got my favorite breakfast sandwich of all time, which is the bacon, egg, and cheese at McGriddle. I also got an iced coffee. I've never actually had McDonald's iced coffee, I don't think. I did the vanilla iced latte, moment of truth. Not bad, not bad at all. I was gonna go with the hash brown, but I actually decided the apple slices sounded better. Does that mean I never get the hash brown? No, I love a McDonald's hash brown. But today I really just wanted something lighter and crunchier. Plus I have Finn with me and I know that he loves apples. Hey Finn. He's so timid. I mean, it's just so good. Like, the salty, the sweet. Mm. The one thing I am unsure of today is that I'm a pretty big snacker. I like to eat like every few hours throughout the day and I don't have any fast food snacks. I thought about getting like something from here to like take with me and eat later, but nothing was really like calling my name. But the good news is I can eat lunch whenever today, so I guess whenever I feel hungry, we'll be going to lunch, whether it's <laughs> at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. And then maybe wherever I go to lunch, we'll have some options that I can get as a snack for between lunch and dinner. I also have no idea where I'm eating lunch and dinner, so TBD on that. Mm, and so good. And speaking of the snack thing, though, like this probably will keep me pretty full for a little while. I mean, we've got protein from the eggs, the bacon, maybe a little bit in the cheese. We've got carbs from the McGriddle piece and from the apples and from the coffee. We've got fats in here as well from the bacon and the cheese and the eggs. So that's the good thing about this is this likely will be keeping us full. And that just goes to show that all foods, even fast foods, foods that are commonly demonized, still provide our body with nutrients. All foods give us nutrients, not just the ones that are deemed as like healthy foods. There are foods that are way more nutritious, but there is no such thing as like empty calories. Now, if I had gotten maybe like just a smoothie or just an oatmeal at McDonald's, it likely wouldn't have had a ton of protein or fat in there either. And so I probably would have been pretty hungry pretty soon. But again, this is pretty balanced. It's got all the macronutrients we need. Food freedom is the best. I am going to finish this and I will see you whenever we eat next, whether it's a snack or lunch, probably lunch. Between now and then, I gotta figure out where we're gonna go. <laughs> All right, I'll see you then. It is about 11 o'clock right now, so I am getting very hungry. We are gonna go get some lunch. I'm thinking we will do Jimmy John's. That counts as fast food, right? I think it does. I thought about doing Culver's or Taco Bell, but I might save one of those options for dinner. I just feel like a nice like sandwich chips and a nice little sodi would be a perfect lunch for me today. I honestly have only had Jimmy John's maybe, maybe twice. Maybe just once, but maybe twice in my entire life. So I thought it could also be fun to have something kind of new to me. I thought about having it delivered, but apparently they don't come to my address. So we are going on another road trip. And honestly, all the driving today has kind of been <laughs> the worst part about this video. Like there's no food guilt. I don't feel like I have to burn off the calories that I'm eating today. I'm not sweating it at all that I'm eating fast food three times in a row. So because I have food freedom, the worst part of this experience is just leaving my house multiple times. First world problems for sure. Anyway, let's go get ourselves a sandwich. 
Can I please do a number 16 combo regular size? Can I do a Diet Coke, please? Uh, salt and vinegar chips, please. Um, that'll be it. Thank you. Thank you. You too. I decided we are going to eat the Jimmy John's at home because the parking lot was just like not great there like it was this morning at Mickey D's. I also am probably gonna save half this sandwich because remember earlier how I said I like wanted to have like a snack for later? It's like 11.30 right now. If I wait until like five, that's a long time for me without food. Could always eat an earlier dinner, but then I'll be hungry before bed. And so I'll need a nighttime snack. I don't know, we'll see how it plays out. And honestly, this is something that I'm not really stressed about thanks to food freedom. Like I know I can just like eat whenever. And of course it is a little bit different because I'm like intentionally getting fast food for three different meals, which is just out of my usual routine. But the beauty is, is I just get to eat whenever I feel hungry on a regular day. <laughs> Today does require a little more planning. And if you are someone who tends to eat most of your meals out, you might relate to this quite a bit where you don't always have things readily available to eat. Um, there could be various reasons for that, but if that is the case for you, it does require more planning. I think that just proves the point that planning also can be helpful for intuitive eating. I made a video recently about intuitive eating misconceptions and how there's always this claim that there's just no structure to intuitive eating and that's why it doesn't work for a lot of people. But there needs to be structure. Most of us don't get to just like eat on a whim. We have to either A, like have groceries ready to go and like have a plan of what meals and snacks we're gonna eat. Or we have to plan where we're going to get that food elsewhere if we are not going to be eating at home very much. Anyways, mini rant aside, let's dig into this. I told you guys I haven't really had Jimmy John's more than like once or twice. So I kind of just got what sounded decent. I got the Lulu. I'm sure you guys know what that is if you're a regular. It's just like turkey and bacon and then the usual toppings. And then I also got some salt and vinegar chips. Very controversial. Let me know in the comments below if you are a salt and vinegar chip girly or if that's just me. And then of course my beloved Diet Coke. I am gonna cut this in half and we'll see if I want to eat both halves now or if I feel comfortable just eating one half and then saving the other half for later. Or I might just do an early dinner and then prepare at that meal to have like a nighttime snack of some kind. I'm thinking either Taco Bell or Culver's. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. I'm not going to be going hungry today, so no one freak out. Let's see if Jimmy John's is worth the hype. I mean, it's good, it's a sandwich. I do have to say that I spent far too much of my life like not allowing myself to eat sandwiches, but like why? Not only are they delicious, they're also super balanced. Like we've got carbs in our bread. If you wanted to apply some gentle nutrition, depending where you're at, you always could get like a higher fiber bread option. Definitely don't have to, that's a gentle nutrition thing. Usually have some kind of protein on there, whether it's like a deli meat or, you know, tuna salad, chicken salad, egg salad. You could do like a layer of hummus on there that would add some fiber and protein as well. You can always add as many veggies as you want. So you add more fiber and more bulk there, lots of color and nutrients. And you can always add a fat source like avocado, mayonnaise, like a vinaigrette of sorts, olive oil. You can have so many flavors and textures and you can always play with like temperatures too and do like hot and cold components. All that to say that the fear of sandwiches that I had and maybe you can relate to as well is one that is likely just rooted in some kind of diet culture or generational dieting or something. Cause there's nothing wrong with sandwiches whatsoever. In fact, I've had two today so far. And if I go to Culver's later, I'll be having a third sandwich. I know I always say this, but food freedom is truly the best. All right, I'm going to enjoy this, eat it up, and I will see you when it's about dinner time. I made it to 4.30 before I needed some dinner. So we are gonna get going now. I think we're gonna do Culver's. By we, I still mean me and Finn. I may have already told him that we're gonna go bye byes We're gonna go bye byes <laughs> Gonna get Culver's. I think it's gonna be a great place to end my day with a little something sweet. Gonna get some kind of ice cream, obviously. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It's been really nice to not cook today. I could get used to this. 
The only thing I don't want to make a habit of is having to like leave my house this many times. But mark my words, if I ever live in a walkable city, you best believe I'm going to be getting a nice little coffee in the morning, an iced latte or a cold brew. I'm gonna be getting a bagel. I'll be getting a sandwich at lunch. I really do like to cook, but it's also so fun to just like try new restaurants. Not that today has really involved a whole lot of new restaurants, but even just like trying new foods like Jimmy John's, that was just, that was a delight. Anyways, let's make our way to the Midwest's hidden gem. Barrage of weight loss ads and marketing tactics by a billion dollar industry. Welcome to Delicious, what can we make fresh for you today? Hi, can I please do the butter burger cheese uh, sandwich? Can I do a combo for that? Were the fries okay? Yes, please. Can I also do a small concrete mixer? I think that'll be it actually. Thank you. My pleasure. Finally sunny enough to need sunglasses. It's like really humid, which is why my hair is now in this clip. Hi, are you Hannah? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry you had a long wait, but I hope you enjoyed. No worries, thank you so much. Bag is secured and Finn obviously knows. And this is all his. <gasps> Yum! We're not gonna do the whole thing because then you'll get a belly ache, but we'll save it in the freezer for later. I got a concrete mixer. I think I'm gonna save mine for later too. A little evening snack. But what I am going to eat right now is my burger and my fries. Not gonna lie, crinkle cut fries are my least favorite type of fry, but it's still a potato and that means it's still delicious. Before anyone comments about how I'm feeding my dog french fries and ice cream, look at him. Number one, do you think I have a choice? He's adorable. I literally cannot say no to him. Number two, he's living his best life. He's absolutely fine. Does he look like a dog who is having a bad time? Culver's might be one of my favorite fast food cheeseburgers. Please comment below what state you live in and if you have a Culver's. I actually don't know exactly which states they're all in. It's getting toasty. Might have to like drive and eat. This is so good. I got the butter burger with cheese and all the toppings. It's getting kind of toasty, so we are gonna drive and eat, but I will chat with you guys later as I'm having my little ice cream treat. So until then. I wanted to say thank you guys for watching today's full day of eating, fast food edition. I'm finishing up with my concrete mixer in bed, watching some friends. Before I let you go, I wanted to say something that I should have said earlier, which is that this day of eating is not meant to be like a copycat situation. That goes for any what I eat in a day video. Like I always say, we could all eat the exact same, move our bodies the exact same way, and we would still look totally different. When someone posts a what I eat in the day video of any kind, you're only seeing like a tiny snippet of like their entire life. Like I did say earlier, this video was all about just sort of neutralizing food and showing you that fast food has place. And dietitians like myself just eat normal food. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to finish this and savor every delicious bite. I had a lot of fun making this video. I always enjoy these more like vlog style laid back types. So please let me know if you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.